Native Instruments has just released the new Contact Play series instrument. This time it's focused on the drums. And as you see on the screen, it is called Kareem Riggins Drums. It is all drums that are crafted by Kareem Riggins. If you aren't familiar with Kareem Riggins, let's go down here real quick and they'll give you a simple rundown of who he has worked with. Jay Dilla, Common, Madlib, Erica Badu, Slum Village, Talib Kweli, The Roots, and many more. He's from Detroit, so you know that gets bonus points for me. <laughs> this is kind of similar to where we had Empire Breaks. It was a contact play series instrument that was just focused on drums. And again, these are drums from Kareem. And I've had a lot of fun with it. And if you aren't familiar with how this works, they come with uh, patterns that are already pre-made and you can use those and you could tweak them how you want to, or you could play them as one shots. It's pretty cool. Empire Breaks helped me get some great ideas. And I feel the same way about this one. Hip hop drums, jazz spirit. Uh, let's see what else I could. I already talked about that, but explore kits and one shots crafted by a pioneering hip hop producer and jazz drummer. You got the drum grooves made simple and then you could dig into patterns created by Kareem plus drag them into your DAW to tweak things further. And again, part of play series. And uh, we're going to go ahead and open the machine. This is what it pretty much looks like. And I'm just going to give you guys the full rundown of it real quick. So let's open it up. So as you see, I have machine open. This is where Kareem Riggins drums is on what it looks like on the instrument side. I'm going to go right here so you can see it it's set in the drum section. Just click on it. Bam. Here's all of your different presets, or I should say kits, and I can run through those real quick and then I'll show you what it looks like. Actually, I'm gonna pull it up now so you get a view of it right now, and then I'll go into that in a second. So, let's go through it. Okay, so those right there are the kits that you can use. And as you heard, some of the pre-made patterns, I have this one loaded up already. I'm gonna mute that. I have my machine over here, just showing you guys how I go through it. So each pad will have a different pattern on it. So it'll sound like, and of course it's synced to the tempo automatically. So it says 85, so let's go to 85. If you couldn't tell these, like this is the kit and so far on, like you can use these images to get what it is on that pad. So yeah, like I said, each one has a different pattern on it. You can go through and mess around with the patterns right here. Like it tells you what they could be used for. Like this is, this one's the main breakdown variation feel. And 
that's the outro. And you could drag them and all that stuff. Now, if you have something that you like, you can go through and change it. So, for example, if I want to change this kick, go right here and go through and find a different kick. I'm going to switch it to that one. Let's change this snare to something else. Change it to that. You know, this is the main snare, so let's switch it to that. You have effects you can add in here, all type of stuff, so it's pretty cool. And then if you want to use it in one shot mode, all you have to do is go down some octaves, go down to C1. And you can do this on the keyboard as well, it doesn't have to be machine. Let me turn fixed velocity on so you guys could hear it better. And you'll see each pad light up based off of what I'm hitting, so that's the key. So yeah, that's pretty much this whole uh, play series instrument when it comes to drums. Like you can use this stuff, you could drag these out. Let's see real quick. You could drag these out to where they're playing. Let me close this. And you can go through and change them up if you want to. So say I want to take this part off right here. It's done. So it's a lot you could do with it. And if you're interested in checking it out, there's an affiliate link in the description. I'm going to load up another one of these and just go through some of the uh, preloaded patterns that they have in it. And it's dope. Let me use this one because we're already close to that BPM. Put it to 86. Go up. And a part of this too is if you want to mix it, you have your mixing controls right here. I should have mentioned that before, but you can mix everything, change the pitch, the pan, all of that. So I want to, I'm just going to pan these all the way to the left, just so that way you can hear the difference. That's all the way to the right, all the way to the left. So I'm not going like this. Turn it up some. So you'll be able to mix them how you want and all that wonderful stuff. You don't have to use them at the BPM that they suggest, but that's just a suggested BPM. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you want to check this out, go ahead and click that affiliate link in the description. I may have a beat making video using this coming up soon. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. This is dope. I'm about to use this right now to make some beats and I appreciate y'all tuning in. Have a wonderful day out there. If you need help using machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled How I Use Machine. I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoy the video.